I've always wanted to work on renewable energy projects since, uh, since I was young. I am Marie Togan for the Only New Wind Farm. My role is environmental coordinator. So I'm responsible to ensure that all of the mitigation measures and the planning conditions are complied with. I was always interested in um, the environment and I remember seeing my first wind farm and uh, I always thought I'd love to work on that. And my dad had always said, always go, go work for ESP. <laughs> and eight years ago I joined ESP and now I work on onshore and offshore wind farms. So I'm, I'm really honored to be honest to be working in this field. We're looking at 176 metre tip height. So visual and noise are always going to be um, issues or concerns from locals about wind farms. And as part of that, we have a lot of measures in place to ensure environmental controls, um, especially for ecology. We have dust monitoring, which is done monthly. We have noise, ongoing noise uh, monitoring. We have visual inspections of the water courses. And I'm absolutely sure that over 10 years of monitoring the birds, we now know, based on our post-monitoring, that we have not impacted either the distribution or the quantity of birds in sight. So all of the mitigation measures that were required, all of the monitoring, is put into a report that's really transparent. And I believe that transparency has resulted in really good engagement. And I think uh, our team are, are so proud to be part of that. The electricity produced from phase one alone is um, 89 megawatts, and I believe that power is about 80,000 houses. So we're looking at phase two doubling that, and uh, there's also plans for phase three. That is basically uh, meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs, and renewable energy is just that.